Mark, who was born in 2003. Uh, he was our first child, obviously, and uh, he's the oldest of three. We have two girls as well. Um, but Mark was, uh, well, we don't entirely know uh, what went wrong, but something um, happened during birth, uh, and the best guess right now is that he had a prenatal stroke uh, right before birth, um, which created uh, some damage in his brain, and as a result, he's uh, cortically blind, which essentially means structurally his eyes are able to see, but uh, they don't. his brain doesn't understand what they're seeing. Um, and he also has epilepsy, uh, so he has daily seizures. Um, and as a result of the brain damage, he also has uh, cerebral palsy. He's eight now, and uh, he'll likely be diapered probably for the rest of his life. Um, so that has always been something in our minds um, as to at what age is he going to arrive when we can't lift him anymore. Um, but already I can tell you at the age of eight it was becoming a strain because he's well over 50 pounds. Even though we try to stay in good physical health, um, it's you know a repetitive thing that you're doing multiple times a day, lifting, turning to set onto a change table, and it, uh, we're, both of our backs feel like we're about 50 now, so even though we're only in our 30s. I guess I didn't really have an idea of how severe his condition was. I knew I <clears throat> kind of knew like how how bad things can get for somebody who has cerebral palsy, but you know, I guess I didn't realize how very dependent he was on his parents to do pretty much everything. My brother at the time uh, was working at the Mortgage Institute. Uh, he's an engineer as well. Um, so if I remember correctly, he received an email um, to, you know, just kind of a group email to the Mortgage Institute from, I think, the professor of the class uh, soliciting any ideas. Um, and so he contacted me right away um, and was basically you know, throughout the open ended question, do you have any equipment needs right now? And it was one of the days where my back was sore and we had been complaining and it was the first thing that popped in my head was it would be nice to have a change table. Because we had looked at uh, the ones available um, through catalogs and, and other websites which, you know, supply families with equipment for people with special needs and the prices are astronomical for uh, those types of tables and to be honest, they're they're not very aesthetically pleasing. They look like uh, hospital equipment. Well, we had to start with uh, the disease and condition that was affecting Mark uh, first, and uh, kind of the restraints and um, setbacks that he has with that, just to kind of design around. And um, then mostly we had to look in how to lift things that were kind of heavy, which like I feel like was the the major obstacle that we had to figure out, uh, especially. In, having a, a limited budget. It's actually a hydraulic scissor lift that uh, uses a foot crank and uh, hopefully Mark doesn't get that big but I think it's rated to up to like 400 kilograms or it's, yeah. it's it's definitely rated for people that would get or for Mark to get bigger and that was the main concern because Mark's, Mark's mom is pretty petite and was having trouble lifting Mark so she can easily lift her or put Mark on the table and pump up pump him up with his legs without too much trouble at all and uh, just as a simple switch lowers it too and uh, obviously on the other side you have cabinets and space for your mark stuff. You know they were kind of looking at the decor of the room um, and the wood trim and everything um, so I started to get the idea that they were also worried about aesthetics and, and how it would look in the room um, but then they sat down and interviewed us the ballpark and tried to understand you know, really the scope of his disabilities. Well, like the big reason that they wanted the table is just they were having a hard time lifting Mark. So, I mean, that's pretty much the only like idea that we needed and we kind of just built off of that, I would say. I didn't really know what to expect. To be honest, I had probably low expectations. Uh, and I really didn't anticipate getting a finished product to have here. Um, I thought it was going to be more of something that they would work on. Um, you know, submit for a project in class and it would be more of a prototype but not available to us as the, the family. So um, I obviously was completely pleasantly surprised and, and my expectations were definitely exceeded. I think it was more of uh, not necessarily representing the university but representing like the Patterson family. That not if like we failed the project that we're failing the university but we're failing them and that they're not going to be able to perform like these daily tasks that they need to get done. A lot of the equipment needs that Mark has I think are daily reminders um, that we have someone in our family with disabilities and, and I think when we looked at that 
bed in the catalog, or some of those beds in the catalog, you know, our instant reaction was absolutely not. We're not gonna. Number one, we don't want to spend thousands of dollars for, you know, that type of equipment. We'll just go with bad backs. Was you know the initial impulse, and then secondly, is we we just don't want this giant piece of metal um, constantly reminding us that you know uh, Mark has special needs, and and I think it helps. You know, it's it, like you say, it's a way of coping. But I also think it helps us kind of celebrate what milestones he does hit because we're not constantly focused on, you know, the the hurdles. The one cool part about this project, I thought, was a lot of the projects people don't get to see their project like realized, like used somewhere. Like we actually got to see it being used, and we know that it's actually like helping somebody. The life impact that that one credit course. I would hope halves on each group when they're going out and interacting with families like ours and making an impact. I mean, I, it's, it's amazing, you know. I think.